Gaga's kitchen is on the road. Gaga's kitchen is on the road. <laughs> It's Gaga's Kitchen, Upstate New York edition. Hey guys, and welcome back to Gaga's Kitchen. Season three is road trip edition, and this weekend we are in upstate New York in the woods, so we're gonna be getting back to our roots, like we always like to do. And um, I haven't actually been in the kitchen in about three months since I moved into my new apartment, so I'm looking forward to just um, cooking it up all weekend and I'm going to be sharing lots of fun recipes with you guys and um, I can't wait to show you what we're going to be making. So um, anyway, I did move apartments back in March and if anyone um, knows me then they would know that my new apartment is very tiny and I do love it but the kitchen is not really ideal for cooking and experimenting. Um, so, so far I've only used the microwave and there isn't an oven, even though there isn't a dishwasher, there's no oven and the stove is really just like a hot plate and I've actually been afraid to use that too. So um, I decided, I kind of had put Gaga's Kitchen on hiatus because I didn't know what to do. I was just feeling like a little overwhelmed and like how am I supposed to, you know, be trying new recipes? This, you know, I know we are all about spontaneity, but this just seemed a little... A little daunting so I came up with the idea of that this will be season three and it's gonna be road trip edition because I've as I was kind of telling people my struggle I've had lots of people offer up their kitchens to use uh, to film episodes so Gaga is going on the road and um, over the next episodes we're going to be traveling you know mostly in the tri-state New York area mostly New York New Jersey Brooklyn you know, all the places that we frequent. So um, I'll be testing out different kitchens and it'll be kind of cool because I love actually, you know, trying out different kitchens and seeing how each of them works. So we'll get some, you know, different variety and seeing what works the best, what doesn't work. And um, I can't wait to take you guys along and you guys can um, travel the world of kitchens with me. So we went um, to the grocery store and it feels very exciting to actually have groceries because if you look at my fridge at home, it's pretty much just like water and sparkling water. Um, but we went and I'm kind of going with a Mexican theme this weekend, if you can't tell, um, just because Mexican is always a good, a good choice and it's not something that I make often. So we're going to have the whole theme. And the first recipe that I'm going to be making this evening is because we've got the whole weekend to make stuff, but tonight um, I'm for sure going to be making Mexican street corn, aka elote. And I actually uh, made this a couple months ago, back in March when I was on a road trip. I um, drove from New Orleans all the way back to New York, and I stopped in Oxford, Mississippi to see my best friend Stacy, and we went to the baseball game, and she had the grand idea of making elote on the grill and so um I kind of you know we had so much fun doing it I'm actually gonna we did actually intend to film a Gaga's Kitchen episode then and it didn't quite work out but I'm gonna put the footage um here now for you to see what we did film what do you call this corn what corn with what with the with the husk 
Oh, Corbin character, yeah. <laughs> and then you wanna you wanna do a good drizzle? Uh spoon. Thank you. Touching me. Touching you. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's hot corn. We technically yeah, need chili powder too. Did you get any chili my, powder? My friend is Mexican street corn. Minus the chili powder. Minus the chili powder. Oh, okay. I put chili powder in the sauce. <laughs> what is in this crema? What are the chunky bits? Well. What? It is sour any cream, any, any mayonnaise, cojita cheese on top. Um, uh, some cilantro, fresh cut, um, a little bit of garlic, chili powder, and then you whisk it all together, and voila. Sounds voila. awesome. A special episode of Gaga's Kitchen. <laughs> Ball game edition. Ball game edition. But I'm not going to be making the exact same recipe that we made then, but um, this is actually a Trader Joe's recipe. And it's going to be really simple because they have this amazing new chili lime mayonnaise. And I haven't tried it yet, but we're going to use it to make the street corn. And we're going to um, put it out on the grill because we do have a grill in the backyard here. And it's going to be delicious. So I'll be showing you guys how to make it. Alrighty, so the grill is um, warming up or heating up outside. So we're going to start prepping the corn for the elote. So here, um, the ingredients are, we've got corn. I've got four husks. We're gonna take these off shortly. Next, we've got the Trader Joe's chili lime mayonnaise. We've got cotilla cheese, fresh cilantro, and lime. And um, you can also add cayenne pepper if you want, but I'm just a little sensitive to spice, so I don't typically do that. These are for the samos later. This is actually a window, but I can see my reflection. So it turns out that Trader Joe's actually makes their recipes a lot easier to make than I was expecting. So basically, we're just going to be prepping all of the ingredients separately and then combining at the end. So this can stay on its own. I'm just going to crumble up some of this cotilla cheese into a bowl. I'm going to just slice a lime up and then I'm just going to take, uh, I'm going to shuck the corn and then we'll just keep everything separate. Oh, and also um, chop up some cilantro. We're going to keep everything separate and then at the end is when it's all going to come together. Always remember to wash your hands. For the longest time, I thought that it was actually pronounced cojita cheese, but it's actually cotilla cheese. So we're just going to crumble some of this up and put it in a bowl. Okay, now I'm just going to slice up a lime into eight wedges, and these are just going to be used as a garnish. Next, we're going to wash and chop cilantro, and make sure you wash before use. So we're gonna wash, chop, and then put those aside as well. Mmm, this smells good. I don't know if you guys know this, but there is a population of people out there that there's like a gene that they have that makes cilantro taste like soap. So if you have that, feel free to opt out for the cilantro, but I personally love the way it tastes. And now we just have to shuck the corn. So I'm not actually positive of the like best way to shuck corn, but I'm pretty sure, you know, I've done it plenty of times. So yeah, you basically, you just shuck until you get to that golden corn on the inside. Okay, so yeah, make sure you get the hairs off as much as possible. And then you're just gonna snap off the bottom. Wow, that was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. 
So we're gonna do that with the other three and then we're gonna take everything outside and get to grilling. Just a heads up that if any of your corns have like a little bit off the top that's maybe um, like just didn't come through or I don't know, diseased or something, you can just cut it off the top. So that's what I'm gonna do with that one. Okay, so I've got corn, I've got chili lime mayonnaise, I've got cotilla cheese, I've got limes, and I've got cilantro. I'm just gonna clean up this little mess real quick, and then we're gonna bring it outside to where the um, fire is. Then we're gonna bring it outside and grill it on the grill. Okay, so it's definitely dark out here, so it's hard to tell, but that is a grill, and I've got the corn on here. So we're gonna grill that for uh, 10 to 15 minutes, rotating regularly, and then we're gonna top it with the ingredients. Put one of these into um, the bottom. Well, actually, no, this is plastic, so it's gonna melt. Yeah, so I'm not gonna do that. I got tongs, so we're just gonna make sure that we turn this regularly for the next 10 to 15 minutes. Smells good. Also, I do want to mention that if you don't have a grill, you could easily do this in the oven as well. I think uh, maybe broil or just a higher temperature for like 10 minutes or something. You can definitely find the instructions on Google. But um, yeah, you can, you know, if you don't have a grill, you can still make this. Okay, so I just rotated the corn. It got a little burnt, but that's okay. You want it to be a little brown. That's how you know where it's cooking. So just make sure you rotate it and this will probably be done in five or so minutes. All right, the corn is ready. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like sweet and ready for me to eat. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of wing this, but basically what I'm gonna do, I'm taking the corn. I think I'm gonna just put like a little spoonful of that. I'm gonna take these two little sticky things this is kind of just where you can get creative and do it. As long as it gets on the thing. <laughs> it's kind of working. Yeah, just like, okay, then I'm just gonna take some of the cheese. And same thing, I'm just gonna kind of like roll it. This is, you know, not the most, they make it look way more graceful when they do it at restaurants, but you know, you get the picture. You wanna get it all over. And then we're just going to sprinkle. I can never get it to look pretty. We're just going to sprinkle a little cilantro on there. You know. And then serve it with a lime on the side. And there you have it. I'm sure it's going to taste amazing though, so that's what matters. Okay, so my phone storage is almost full, so I'm going to have to delete a bunch of stuff to film the rest, but I just want to get my reaction um, for the street corn, and then we're going to eat this, and I'll delete some stuff before tomorrow, but all right, let's see. Hmm. This is really good. Delicious. Mm. Yeah, so this is actually delicious. I'm honestly very impressed. It tastes much better even than I thought it would. So I'm very happy with that. I can't wait to share more recipes with you guys tomorrow. Um, for tonight, I'm just going to finish eating this and then we're going to make some more later. And then in the morning, we will have more recipes coming right at you. So I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. This is delicious. You want me to make you one? Yes. Oh my God, like really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, welcome back to Gaga's Kitchen. Today was a big day of hiking and um, getting ice cream cones, which is my personal favorite summer activity. So now we're home, 
took a cold shower since it's hot out there, and now we're going to be making a seven layer taco dip. Mm. So for the first layer of the seven layer taco dip, um, the first thing that you would do is you would just put a can of refried beans. I am actually gonna skip that step because I'm not a huge bean person. So I'll actually be making a six layer dip, but just um, if you're making this at home and you don't wanna skip the beans, the first step would be to um, take one can of refried beans and you could put it in, usually you would put it in like a tray that you would put in the oven or something like that. But since, um, you know, we don't have everything in this kitchen, we're just gonna use this little plastic tub. So you would just kind of spread it on the bottom here. Um, so I'm skipping that step. So I'm gonna start now with the sour cream layer. Okay, so I'm gonna be making a half recipe, I think. So um, the recipe calls for two um, cups of sour cream mixed with um, one packet of taco seasoning. So I'm probably just gonna do half of this and half of the packet, and I'm just gonna mix it up on the bottom of this pan. All right, I'm pouring the taco seasoning. I'm gonna do about half the packet. probably good and then just gonna mix this together and you know what now that I'm actually making it I think I am just gonna do the whole container of sour cream and the whole container of taco seasoning because I will just be like the base it's not as thick as I thought it would be so we'll just cover the bottom with that step one complete look how nice that is looking so optional would be to have refried beans under this layer. Next, we're gonna add salsa on top of here. Ugh. Every time. Okay, I had some help opening the jar. Now the recipe calls for a, a full jar of salsa, so I'm kinda just gonna spread this so I want to make sure that I have room, but I think I am going to put the whole jar in here and then just spread that over the um, sour cream with the spoon. Next, we are going to ch uh, cut up three avocados, take the pits out and then smash them into a bowl and then spread that layer over the um These could probably be a little bit more ripe, but it'll be okay. Because these avocados aren't so ripe, I might just do one avocado, and I think I'm just going to slice it and put it over the top as opposed to mashing it. Yeah, and just be careful because I nicked myself with the knife. But um, yeah, so I did that, and then I'm just going to do it with the other side, this time being a little more careful. All right, so that is what this layer is looking like. So you could either chop it like I did or um, mash it and put it on here. But right now it's kind of looking like a pizza almost. So next step, we're going to add the Mexican shredded cheese. And we're just going to put however much our heart desires on here. So I'm a big fan of If anyone has any tips for... Um, freeing up space on your phone let me know because um, I keep getting cut off but I went ahead and put about this much cheese on there and the last two steps or layers are going to be some shredded lettuce and some fresh tomate or tomato so I wasn't able to find any shredded lettuce which is what the recipe calls for because we just went to this like little local um, grocery store up here in um, upstate New York but um, I'm probably just gonna chop up about half of one of these heads and uh, make sure to wash it first, of course. My uh, thumb is by okay, by the way. I personally prefer this, kind of like the middle crunchy section um, for the romaine, but we'll put some of this. Yeah, we'll, we'll chop up quite a good amount. And that's honestly probably enough lettuce We'll save this for something else. Last but not least, we're going to wash and chop a tomato and then it. 
And uh, these are local tomatoes too that we got. So they're extra juicy. And uh, we got these up here in Greenwood Lake, New York, which this is my first time coming here, but it's been honestly such a blessing um, to get out in nature for a couple days. So I only used about half of the tomato just because I thought that that looked like it was enough. So I think we're gonna grill burgers later. So these will be perfect. They're already sliced. I'll just put those aside. And yeah, so I'm about ready to eat this with some um, tortilla chips, but um, the recipe does say to let it chill in the refrigerator for an hour before eating. So I will be patient because I do want to make sure that it tastes its absolute best. So now will be a good time to kind of clean up a little bit and chill out for the next hour. And then we will be back soon to uh, taste. Um, I'm just going to kind of like cover it with a paper towel to put it in the um, fridge. So I'll just find nice little cozy spot for it. And we'll just check back in an hour. Uh, so I just finished cleaning up and I still have um, quite a bit of time to kill before the dip is ready. So I just thought I would come out here and talk about um, just the importance of getting outside and kind of also just switching up your normal everyday routine. Cause I don't know if this ever happens to you guys, but I just the past few months have just been feeling so low energy and just unmotivated. And um, especially with just like the small kitchen and everything, I just hadn't um, felt the motivation to film anything in a while. And then um, this past Wednesday, I um, decided actually I had the day off. So I went to the beach with a couple friends and I almost didn't go cause I was like, oh, I have so much to do, blah, blah, blah. But I'm telling you just that one day at the beach, like rejuvenated me and gave me so much more energy. And ever since then, I've just been kind of buzzing off of that um, trip, probably just from the ocean air and the sunshine and everything. But um, it made me realize that sometimes it is good to just switch it up, get out of your routine, try something new because it really is like invigorating for the soul. So um, I'm definitely gonna try to do more of that. And that's why this will be kind of a fun project to kind of hit the road and try out some uh, different kitchens and things like that. So um, I'm excited for you guys to come along on this journey with me and also make sure you drink more water because we could all stand to drink more water. All right, I'll see you guys soon for the tasting. So it actually started raining here out of nowhere um, and I ended up taking a little nap, which is so nice to do um, on vacation. But um, yeah, so I am ready. It's been about 45 minutes or so since it was setting in the fridge, the dip, but I am ready to eat this. So I've got it right here. I've got some tortilla chips and I'm going to try. So if you're sharing this with a big group, um, you definitely could just, you know, portion this out onto a plate. Here we go. It's like a little deeper, so it's kind of, the chip broke a little bit, but there we go. Maybe get some tomato on there. Just how I remember it tasting. Oh, I'm gonna do some damage on this for sure. Hmm. That is good. So on that note, I'm gonna sign off because I am exhausted from my hike earlier. I'm ready to eat. Probably gonna, now that it's raining, might not grill, but do something else. But um, I'm just gonna sign off here and I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's me. Um, so I made it back to the city and a, a couple days ago and I've just been working and stuff since then. So I just thought I, I realized that I needed to check in and um, say goodbye for this video. So. Um, I'm excited for you guys to watch and um, I actually realized today that even though I don't have an oven in my current apartment and I um, was so excited to finally have an oven, I actually didn't even use the oven this weekend. So that was kind of a good reminder for me that maybe I will um, be more willing to venture into cooking in my own kitchen and um, I actually had a bunch of leftover foods to bring home so I will be putting together some things um, this week to eat at home. And I'm even wearing my 
Live in La Vida local shirt from um, when I used to work at the farmer's market in Oxford, uh, Mississippi. So um, living that local life. And um, anyway, yeah, it was definitely good to get back and film. And I'm excited for all the episodes to come. Um, if you are interested in hosting me um, for an episode, let me know. Um, you can message me on Instagram, um, Facebook. I think you can message me here on YouTube also. Um, and we can definitely set something up. I'd love to explore your kitchen. And, um, you know, we can make some, one of your favorite foods. Oof, my arm was getting tired. Um, we can make, you know, whatever you want. And, um, yeah, so we're going to be on the road this summer, um, which is perfect because, you know, that's what people do here in New York is they, uh, you know, flee this, the hot city on the weekend. So um, that's what I'll be doing here in Gaga's Kitchen, and Gaga's Kitchen is going on the road. So thanks so much for watching. Um, there's going to be a lot more exciting things to come. Um, this is a really awkward angle, but I'm just trying to get my cool painting in it. Um, there's more things to come. We um, will be launching finally the Patreon page and I do have merch coming out with the new logo. More about that to come and um, I just am so excited to be back and I um, hope that this also could be a reminder, you know, to get out of your comfort zone if you're feeling, <laughs> if you're feeling all right, this is fine. If you're feeling like, um, you know, that you're stuck in a rut or whatever, um, now would be a good time to um, switch up your routine and uh, try something new. You know, we're all about spontaneity and, you know, sometimes I just need to remember to practice what I preach because um, it's definitely um, important for me to switch things up and not get stuck in a... Um, like continuous cycle of doing the same thing every day. So this was fun and I'm excited to go on more adventures um, with you all this summer. So I will be checking back in with you guys soon. All right, have a good one, bye.